In this video, you will learn how to connect WYSIWYG to MA2 to previs your lighting programming. You will need an additional piece of software, which you can find in the MA website. You will need the WYSIWYG driver for MA. Once downloaded, install it. Firstly, we need a network for both the softwares to communicate. We will do this by setting up a network adapter here in Device Manager. Click on Network Adapters, then Action and add Legacy Hardware. Click Next and select the Advanced option to install hardware that you can manually select. Scroll down and select Network Adapters and click Next. Wait a few seconds and scroll down in the left panel to select Microsoft under Manufacturer. Then select Microsoft KM Test Loopback Adapter under Model. Then click Next to start installing. Click Finish once done. Right click on the network icon in the right side of your taskbar and click Open Network and Internet Settings. Then click Change Adapter Options. Here you will find KM Test Loopback Adapter. I will rename mine just to be a little organized. Right click and head over to Properties and double click on the Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IPv4. Check the use the following IP address and set your IP address at 2 dot whatever or 10 dot whatever. Since MA speaks with this range of IP addresses, your subnet mask will fill up automatically upon clicking away. Click OK and your network is ready. You can close all the windows. Let's quickly head over to MA2 and set up our settings to output to WYSIWYG. Firstly, we'll begin a session in Setup and then in MA Network Control. We'll set the session ID as 1, name our session and choose our IP address in the station IP. You will get an info pop-up asking you to restart MA to let the changes take place. Click OK and exit back to Setup. In Setup, head over to Global Settings and turn on WYSIWYG in the second option by clicking on it. You may now restart MA. Now we will launch the Grand MA WYSIWYG driver and set our MA Net mode as MA Net 2 in the drop down selection and select our IP address in the station IP address drop down selection. Then set our MA session ID as 1 in Grand MA 2 and click OK. Head over to WYSIWYG, open your project with the patched fixtures. Go to the Live tab, then Managers, and then into Device Manager. Click New, then under Connectivity, go to Consoles, Manufacturer, MA Lighting Technologies and select Grand MA2 and hit Insert. Next, highlight your device and go to Properties. Put in your address as Grand MA2 and select your universes. Then hit Close and voila, you are connected. Happy programming! Stick around so you can check out my MA show file in the next video.